In this kind of causation, when domino minus five knocks over domino nine, minus four, and then the dominoes keep falling over, I could take domino minus five that caused you know, all these other do dominoes fall over. I could take that earlier cause. I could take it, I could throw it in the bin. We don't need it anymore. Those dominoes further down the chain would keep on going, right? It's the kind of causation where you don't require the first causes, the earlier causes, to remain in existence in order for the causal chain to continue. So another example of this would be like parents and children. You know, my grandfather caused my father to exist. Then my grandfather died. After my grandfather died, my father caused me to exist. You don't need to, you don't need that first cause to remain there. But that's that's in this so-called um, horizontal causation. In a hierarchical series of causation, you can't get rid of the earlier cause. And when we say earlier or first or fundamental, we don't mean in time. We mean like sort of further down the chain, as it were. So if my grandfather causes my father, then my grandfather dies, my father still has the causal power to bring me about. But if my shoulder causes the position of my arm, then if my shoulder disappears, my arm no longer has the power to hold up my hand. The shoulder needs to stay there causing the arm in order for the arm to cause the hand. So all of that causation happens all at once 